first part of the shoulder examination actually begins not with the shoulder, but rather evaluating the cervical spine and core of the body to make sure the kinetic chain is normal. To evaluate the cervical spine, a brief screen simply can be put your chin to your chest, chin to the ceiling, chin to your right shoulder, chin to your left shoulder, ear to your right shoulder, and ear to your left shoulder. What we're trying to look for is to evaluate symmetry between one side or the other to see if he's tight on one side. We also can palpate the cervical spine and the spinous processes and press down on the head to see if it causes any pain, numbness, or tingling down the arms. You have no radiculopathy, no pain down your arms. Second part of the exam is a brief screen of the kinetic chain and core stability. The simple screening test is to simply do a single leg squat. So I'll stand up on one leg and squat down 90 degrees. And what we're looking for is rotation at the, hip, at the knee, hip dropping, or imbalance in his, in his torso. Switch sides, same thing on the opposite leg, bend down. And here on a stable surface, step back up, he has pretty good stability. Not a lot of rotation of his knee, his pelvis is maintained. To maximize evaluation of this kinetic chain potential instability, we'll have him stand on an unstable surface. This can be a mini trampoline, a pillow, uh, or a uh, flexible uh, ba base. Stand up on your leg, squat down. And you can see here he starts losing some motion at his knee. He has some more torso instability and step back up. Now switch sides. Squat down again, 90 degrees. You can see his knee rotate. He drops his pelvis a little bit and he starts moving his arm. These signs are fi uh, findings consistent with uh, core strength or balance instability that may lead to shoulder problems uh, in a throwing athlete.